Hey everybody, what's up? It's Joel, AKA The Daily Guru, and it's time for another edition of Something Old, Something New. Whoa! Today for Something Old, we're gonna check out one of my all-time favorites. It's Slayer's 1986 masterpiece, Rain in Blood. While many are familiar with the band's name and their logo, few people have actually experienced their sound, and it's rarely been as potent or outright brilliant as you find on Rain in Blood. Blending together the angst of punk with that early, almost majestic style and sound of heavy metal, you can really see this album as the one that paved the way for the resurgence of the heavy metal genre. Truth be told, the album was actually almost never released, as Geffen Records heavily protested the record's original art, as well as the content therein. But finally, after almost a year of setbacks, the album was released, and the amazing thing was that with absolutely no radio airplay, the record had quick sales and has become iconic since that point. Much of the impact of the music from Slayer comes from that legendary double guitar sound of Kerry King and Jeff Hanneman. And yet it's the fact that on Rain and Blood there's more punch to their guitars that sets it aside from all of their other work. And Tom Araya's bass playing serves as the perfect complement to the overall sound. Furthermore, the breakneck drumming from Dave Lombardo is astonishing to experience. And once you hear the sound of Slayer, you'll never forget it. But it may be the vocals from Tom Araya that truly define the sound of Slayer as you'll never hear another vocalist quite like him. Clearly cementing the idea that volume does not equal intensity, whether he's singing or growling or screaming, his vocal performance is never anything short of perfect. There's just no way to speak highly enough of Rain and Blood. 12 songs, 20 some odd minutes, absolute musical perfection. If you've never experienced this album, go get it right now. Thank me later. <laughs> For something new today, I want to check out the brand new release from Dell the Funky Homo Sapien and Parallel Thoughts, and it's called Attractive Sin. To tell you the truth, if you don't know Dell the Funky Homo Sapien, then you missed out on one of the most talented and engaging MCs in all of hip hop history. But at the same time, if you are uninformed, this record is a great place to get to know him. This is actually the second project between the West Coast based rapper and the East Coast based producers, and it really picks up where the last record left off. However, this time around it seems a lot more complete, and it's outright more impressive than their last outing. The opening track of this album is absolutely on fire, and Dell's flow rarely stops anywhere on the track, let alone on the album. Throughout the record, you'll find that there's a rare amount of musical diversity, and the backing tracks never seem to be too overpowering, representing the ideal of what it means to have music within hip hop music. Whether it's a more traditional, heavy, raw sound, or points that almost delve into the psychedelic, the team of Parallel Thoughts are never lacking in original, unique musical approaches. At the same time, the vocals are always crystal clear, and the themes and rhymes that Dell brings to each of these tracks are some of the most engaging of his entire career. He brings a wide range of tempos and patterns that allow each track to be completely individual. And you're quickly reminded of what it truly means to be a talented MC. And for anyone who finds themselves overall frustrated by the current hip hop scene in terms of individuality or uniqueness of an MC, this record will be more than pleasing to your ears as it goes against all of those annoying trends. So whether it's due to the superb musical construction or the phenomenal lyricism and rapping on the album, on the Bite or Borrow It, Attractive Sin is a 100% buy it. So that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you dug it. If you did, go ahead and click subscribe, leave a comment, click like, whatever you want to do. Remember that if you leave a comment here or you share this video via my Facebook page, you're automatically entered into a contest to win at least four of the albums I recommend at the end of the month. If you want to email me, you can do that at thedailyguru at gmail.com and check out my website where every single day I talk about the greatest music of all time at thedailyguru.net. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr right here, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Whoa!